Britain in the 60s and 70s was a very kind of materially very low kind of place. At that period, I mean, I think sculpture was a little bit about finding new materials, you know, discovering a new material. I was interested in man-made materials, especially materials that were kind of doubled up as sort of natural, imitated nature in a way. It just seemed fascinating. Plastic things just seemed obvious. I never even thought about it. I just, they were, they were around. You know, if you grew up in the 50s in Britain, the materiality of the place wasn't so great. It was kind of after the war and everybody was pretty poor and shaken up. And sometimes a plastic object looked like it was from another planet. It looked something very great, beautiful, whatever. And so searching things was a kind of automatic practice, if you like, in my work. And you categorize it in colors. And then the first plastic works were all making themselves, in fact. And so a little bit further on that actually started to use them to make um, an image. And I was interested in very early in very simple structures. Obviously, the simple structures are particular things, you know, the way the world is made up of, uh, if you like, atoms and molecules and cells and grains of sand and all the kind of, the, the sort of particular nature of the world. So that's one distribution of material. And after that, there's another kind of distribution that follows onto that and is layering, you know, so stratification starts very quickly. So you see it in geology, you see it in the layers of the sky, you see it in our own organism, whatever. Gulia actually means spire, or it means minster. And minster is interesting. In the Middle Ages, the biggest means of communication was the bells of the church, and the visually it was the spire of the church, because that's the thing you could see furthest away. And I just decided, or oh, the way to do it is to find circular objects, just tires, uh, discs, um, cogs, machine parts, uh, wooden object, and then I just stack the whole thing up. They're the, they're the kind of things that are almost universal things you can find in material. After f looking for loads of different materials and looking at things that were made by indus industry and um, realizing, you know, industry makes things, we all know, the cheapest and easiest way possible. So it's straight and it's flat and it's round and it's, you know, it's just the simplest of geometries. So this produces like a really boring world, you know, so that's why the world looks the way it does. I think that sculpture does something to actually replenish the form because it's not reliant on utilitarian principles. It doesn't have to be so dumb. <laughs>